In this video, we're going to talk about the difference between tags and categories in WordPress. Welcome to All-in-One SEO. We make SEO easy with our powerful WordPress SEO plugin. Let's get started. Do you know the difference between tags and categories in WordPress? It's a little confusing because they are very similar. The main thing to remember with tags and categories is categories categorizes your content. So where it fits in the grand scheme of your website and tags, tags an individual piece of your content. So if we look at this sample piece of content here I have on our demo site called men's basketball shoes, what category does this fit into? So this is a men's shoe. It's a sneaker, possibly in clothing or fashion or something like that. If we come and look at the category section here on the right hand side of the screen, we can see that the categories are fashion, and then street fashion, then shoes, then sneakers. So that's the categories. These four categories are applied to this page. The tag is more specific just to this page. So the two tags for this page are red, black sneakers. We would want to say red and black sneakers, but and isn't a word that adds a whole lot of value. So red, black sneakers, and then basketball shoes. Now, if you had maybe 50 different pair of basketball shoes on your site, you could certainly argue that basketball shoes could be a category as well. But for the most part, categories categorize content on your site and tags are specific to one piece of content on your site. And categories and tags both only apply to posts. You don't add categories and tags to pages. So how do we create a new category? Let's start with categories first. There's a couple different ways. Uh, first of all, you can do it right from this page of content. So if I had so many different sneakers on this site that I wanted basketball sneakers to be its own category, on the right-hand side of the screen here, there's a category section. You may have to scroll down to get to it because there's a lot of information now on the right-hand side. And there's a little link that says add new category. So just go ahead and click that. And I'm going to add a category called basketball sneakers. And then I'm going to make the parent category sneakers. And that's it. It creates the category. And adds your piece of content to that category. And this category will now be available whenever you create a new piece of content as well. For tags, you can also create those directly from this editing page. I have red and black sneakers here, the basketball shoes. Let's say I wanted to also call this men's basketball shoes. So to create a new tag from the page, you just type right into this box and separate your tags with commas. Go ahead and click the big blue update button and you're done. So if we head back on over to the WordPress dashboard, I can show you how to create tags and categories from here. So under the post section, you can see we have a categories link and a tags link. So I'm going to click on the categories link first and we can add a category directly here. So let's say I also had in addition to sneakers, I also had dress shoes. So we'll make a category called dress shoes. The slug here is basically how it's going to appear in the URL. So I'm going to put in dress-shoes to keep everything consistent. And then the parent category, since this is a child of shoes, I'm going to put it under shoes. And then the description, I'm going to leave blank because my theme doesn't have anything about the description. But if your theme displays description information, you could put something in here. I'm going to click the big blue button that says add new category. And we can see over on the right here that it has added my category dress shoes and it is underneath shoes at the same level as sneakers. If we head back over to the menu on the left and click on tags, I can show you how to create a new tag. So let's say we wanted um, green and black sneakers for a tag. And again, I'm, I'm leaving out the word and because it doesn't add a lot of value here. Same thing, put in a URL friendly slug. I'm going to leave the description alone. I'm going to click the blue button that says add new tag. And the new tag is there and ready for use. So that's the difference between tags and categories in WordPress. If you click on this next video right here, we'll talk about the difference between pages and posts. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on how to use our easy and powerful WordPress SEO plugin, All-in-One SEO.